Well, the Russia conspiracy grows more vast and complex with every passing day. I personally found a Macedonian hiding under my bed just last night, and that's just me, one man. Hillary Clinton isn't standing alone with her tinfoil hat anymore. She's in a club that now includes the majority of registered Democrats. A new poll by The Economist and YouGov finds that 59% of Democrats, 59%, believe that Russians literally rigged vote tallies to hand the fall election to Donald Trump, something for which there's no evidence at all, and nobody who is sane is claiming that. Now, another politician is being accused of being a Putin plant the whole time. Leaks from, of course, unnamed sources, but probably from within the U.S. intel community, say Brexit advocate Nigel Farage is a, quote, person of interest in the probe for connections between Trump's campaign and the Russian government. Nigel Farage joins us tonight to answer a very simple question. Are you now or have you ever been an agent of the Putin government, Nigel Farage? <laughs> well, I haven't. And I have to say, if ever there was a case of fake news, this is it. Uh, you know, what they've done is they've tried to join the dots together. Uh, you know, I was involved with Brexit. I was involved with the Trump campaign. I was involved with upsetting their little world in 2016. Therefore, I must somehow be associated with the Russians. It is total and utter hysterical nonsense. It's a little more than that, though, because this uh, arose in the Guardian newspaper, which is very left-wing, but it does journalism. Yep. And they are claiming that sources whom they imply are in the U.S. government are saying this. Now, I have no doubt that it's untrue. It's libel. But it also suggests that people in the U.S. government are trying to hurt you in a significant way. Does that bother you? Well, I, I, you know, I just don't believe it. Uh, and I think... Uh, sources. I mean, look, it could be anybody. They try to imply that I'm a person of interest. Clearly, they've rung up the FBI, who haven't given them an answer either way. Uh, and I, I, I would be very surprised if I was a person of interest. And I'll tell you why. I've never been to Russia. I've never done business in Russia. I have literally no political connections with Russia whatsoever. The whole thing is a fantasy from people who cannot accept the fact they lost badly last year. Now, have you ever passed microfilm in a public park to a Russian agent? Or, and this is an obvious question, what about Macedonia? Do you have any connections to secret agents in Macedonia who change vote totals here? I only wish I had because life would be so much more exciting. But I'm afraid <laughs> not guilty on both questions. But I guess, I mean, I, we're laughing about this because it is... Ludicrous. I mean, it's ludicrous, the definition of ludicrous. But it's also damaging to accuse people in public, even anonymously, of a, a reputation-destroying act like collaborating with an authoritarian government such as Putin's. I, we've seen a lot of this recently. I don't know if they have ever had political witch hunts in Great Britain, but we have here, and this looks like one of them to me. Yeah, I mean, this is actually far bigger than anything I've seen in Britain. I mean, certainly since Brexit, they've tried to uh, apportion blame. They've tried to uh, make out the sort of a network of hate, but they haven't really got very far with it. Uh, my concern with this one is that it's actually gaining some traction in the USA amongst a lot of Democrats who are beginning to believe this constant stream of rubbish that has been put out about the Russian conspiracy. The difficulty is, you know, put yourself in my shoes, just what do you do when the Guardian newspaper publishes a story like this? How on earth do you disprove them? How on earth can you make them reveal their sources? And frankly, uh, without going to the High Court and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars and spending months of your life on it, it's very, very difficult. So what did you do? How did you respond to this? Uh, well, I did say to the British media that I apologize for taking a long time uh, to answer it. I was so busy laughing when I read the article. It is frankly utter nonsense, and I think, uh, in my case, in 48 hours, this will blow over. Well, you have a much better sense of humor than I do, and I salute you for that, I have to say. A, a calmness <laughs> and an amused detachment that I envy. <laughs> Nigel Farage, you are being wronged, and you're nice to come on tonight. Thank you. Thank you.